Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week we take a look at Drum Computer from Sugarbytes. Now before we get started on this, I think it's important to mention what Drum Computer isn't intending to be. And that is a place for conventional drums. So if you want a 909 kick, for example, there are plenty of alternative places to get that from. Where Drum Computer really shines is in the experimental sounds. So when I go through the options and the parameters here, you'll very quickly understand why that's the case. And also going through every parameter here is far beyond the scope of this video. So let's give an overview. I'll play some sounds as well, just so you can hear what it sounds like. This is my init preset. I basically just set it up, ironically, and despite what I said at the start, I've set it up with a 909 kick, a snare, an open hat, a closed hat, and a clap on number five. So you can see there that it's an eight part drum synth. You can put any type of sound on any one of these layers and then you select what type of sound it is by this little drop down here. You can go kick, snare, clap, percussion, hat, cymbal, or synth. And then with each one of these, you can then randomize the sound. So let's say we have a kick, for example. This is on eight. Let's go to the mixer, which is this little multicolored button here. Click on that. We just want to solo the drum on eight. So let's go to our sequencer. Let's go to the conveniently color-coded section here, which is number eight. Let's put a kick bog standard on one, two, three, and four, and play this back. And that is our first kick sound. Now you might think that doesn't particularly sound like a kick. And the reason is because if we click on the drum itself here, it will completely randomize that sound. So let's play this back and randomize it. And now we're getting somewhere that sounds a lot more like a, a kick. So another one. So that one sounds quite good. I quite like that one. Let's keep that one. Now let's go into seven. We can just solo that as well. I say solo, but they're both solid. Now let's do something more experimental with that. That's this color yellow. Let's now, instead of putting in a pattern, we could do that, for example. Let's just click on the little dice here, and then we can randomize that. So that we have a randomized grid pattern, and then also a randomized velocity, which then we can further randomize by clicking it here. You'll notice also that it's quite intelligent. It only randomizes where there's a step on. So you see here, for example, there's no velocity. It's not randomizing. It's not doing anything for that. Let's have a listen to what we have for this one. We want, I think, on this something percussive. That sounds quite good. And then we can get into the multitude of parameters here for sculpting that. So there are five synthesis types. You have a resonator to the left, and then in the middle you can choose between wavetable or analog, and then to the right you can choose between resynth or sampler. To the right of that you have the effects section, which is essentially a filter, so you can choose between high pass, peak, band pass, low pass, vowel or notch, and then the cutoff, and then the Q factor. Below that is distortion, and then the EQ to the right. And then below that you have the modulation generator, which is quite flexible. If you click on the little label here, you can choose to what parameter that goes to for modulation generator one. And then you can choose the ramp here, or the curve, I should say. Same for modulation generator two. And then you have essentially the mod matrix here. So currently velocity is assigned to cutoff. So we can do, let's say, I don't know, um, Global Decay, let's do that one. We already know we have randomized velocity because we took that from this uh, patch here, which we just randomize again if we want. Let's turn the depth of that up. Then if we want, we get further into sculpting the sound. We can choose the pitch envelope. Let's go for a super ping. Bit of frequency modulation.
I think that's sounding quite good. Now let's put in some hats. Let's go to our hat section here. Let's just solo these so we can just play just with the hats themselves. Let's go to our sequencer. I want, let's say, again, let's randomize this. In terms of the modulation options, we have probability, which is the likelihood of it playing, a roll, which is like a stutter effect, offset, which is a humanizing effect. So if we take this one, for example, and then we increase this, it's going to push it back in time, or if we move it down, it's bringing it forward in time. So let's add a bit of groove to that by randomizing that. You can see that how closely these ones are now. Go to pitch, Let's just randomize something like that. Let's put a roll on, say this one. It's such a techno beast, it's so easy to get grooves out of it. Bit of distortion. We can then add a bit of reverb, so let's put the room on, and then we can do send. Let's do send on the little hat that we had. We can do it also on this little percussion thing that we had. And then once we have something that we quite like, if we go to the kit section, we get our master effects. So this is a compressor, so let's turn this up. And then we have a bit of drive here with the different modes underneath, so obviously tube and tape there. And then just one more, let's just add a snare, just because I'm having fun, on five. Let's do, we do a bit of a ghost snare here and there. Then we choose our snare here.
So as you can see, I'm quickly getting carried away here. It's really fun and really easy to be creating drum grooves. In terms of improvement areas, what I would quite like is I would like to be able to lock a parameter here. So if you look at this pan, for example, and I do randomize now, you can see that it's continuing to, to randomize. I would like to be able to lock this in the center, for example, and then do random, and it would not affect that parameter. Yeah, so super cool, super fun. Go and get the demo, have a play, and I'm sure you'll be making little fun gro drum grooves for hours. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.